There are a lot of bravery from her doing amazing things as we bring in our weather forecaster Erica Bertine. We were just talking about it. She probably was flying. Well, they said it. She was flying before she was driving. What an accomplishment out there. Here's a look at what you can expect this evening. I do want to mention so Usually Memorial Weekend is the start of summer for most people. It is the unofficial start of summer, and it is also today the meteorological start to summer, June 1st through August 31st. But here's a look at what you can expect this evening. Around dinner time here, we're still seeing those uh, upper 50s to low 60s out there for our coastal locations. By sunset, we'll cool down to those mid 50s. Sunset is at 8:21 p.m., and by 9 p.m., we'll, we'll remain in those mid 50s for most of the uh, overnight hours. Dinner time for our inland locations, slightly warmer. We were seeing some toasty temperatures down in South Monterey County, still seeing those upper 70s by dinner time by sunset, cooling down to those upper 60s and by 9 p.m. those low 60s out there. So not a bad evening inland. It is a little cool along the coast though, and we are starting to see those clouds sneak back into the inland locations. They are already already in Salinas and up in the Prunedale area, Marina, and of course the Monterey Peninsula. We've seen clouds out there most of the day. Santa Cruz, you had a little bit of a break, but we are starting to see those fill back in as well. And I do expect to our Salinas Valley to fill in with those low clouds and they will be slow to break tomorrow morning. Ridge of high pressure is still in place and that is why we're seeing those toasty temperatures inland. But we have that deep marine layer, so the coast is staying cool because of those low clouds. And this ridge will start to weaken as we move into the later part of this week and that will help to cool down our temperatures even more so far inland locations. Around the coast, though, we're staying pretty similar, staying in those mid 60s for most of the week for coastal locations. Here's what you can expect tomorrow. Santa Cruz, a high of 71. Up and down the San Lorenzo Valley, we're looking at those low to mid 80s tomorrow. Devonport, a high of 60. Our overnight lows are going to be in the 50s for most of the central coast tonight. We're going to see those 60s along the coast again tomorrow. 65 for Cashville, 68 for Salinas, Hollister, a high of 79. San Juan Batista, 71. And Marina, 62. 50s and 60s for the Monterey Peninsula, 59 for Carmel by the Sea, Monterey 69, and Seaside a high of 67. It's still going to be pretty nice for our inland locations tomorrow, not cooling down too much tomorrow afternoon. Soledad, we're going to see 82, continue to see those mid 80s up and down the Salinas Valley. King City, a high of 90, and yes, it's still going to be a warm one or hot one, I should say, for our South Monterey County locations such as Bradley and the San Antonio Valley. Big Sur, you'll be at a high of 70. Let's look at your seven day forecast here. We are going to see some morning fog for the next three days. And again, those clouds, those little clouds will be slow to break even for our inland locations. But by the afternoon, we will start to see a little bit more sunshine kind of sneak through and do expect some breezy conditions. But like I said, our temperatures remaining in those mid 60s, really not not budging much. Our inland locations, that's where we'll start seeing a little difference in our temperatures. We will see some breezy conditions the next couple of days. We'll have a slight little warm up on Friday cool before we cool down by Sunday. We'll drop back into those 70s and be more of those seasonable temperatures we expect this time of year.